Hello, people watching this game. Uh, we have Helias Catholic High School versus Windsor High School from a little bit south of St. Louis. Um, their first player is Evie. He's going to be playing Kazi. And our first player is Beanboy128, or Matthew Kramer. And he is also going to be playing Kazi. Uh, um, should be a good game. We're going to be getting started in here, a couple, here in a couple minutes. And I'll check back in then. Here we are getting into the first game, Beanboy128 versus Eevee. Boom it with a huge rage drive, oh. earning the kill. Let's go. That is one for Helias. <laughs> Fortunately, he falls to Evie's. Is that a forward tilt or back tilt? I don't know. We have some intense Tekken gameplay here. He's starting the combo, but he misses. He whips. Bean Boy has a chance to start his, a combo of his own here. Both hit with the electric trade. I've never seen that before. Huge. Bean Boy taking the lead here. Ooh. Ooh. The huge pack air to edge guard and get the stage spike. Let's go, Bean Boy. Now Windsor has their player on their last stock here. He's going to get a really, really nice stock there with that combo. Eevee from Windsor misses his second combo. But now we have Bean Boy. Oh. Now Bean Boy. Oh. Intense neutral here. Now B-Boy's got to escape the corner against this. Getting hit by anything here could cost him his life. So you gotta be real careful. Now B-Boy in, in advantage. What is he gonna do? Ooh! Whips the forward smash. And that up he's gonna close it out. Windsor takes it. Kazuya Mishima wins. Next up, we're sending in Lucas Omega. We gotta wait for our bands and we'll see what stage we're going to. The bands from Windsor are gonna be Yoshi's Story. Town and City and Battlefield. Yoshi City Town and Yoshi Story Town and City and Battlefield. PS2 baby. We're going to Pokemon Stadium 2 for this match and we have Lucas Omega on Incineroar. Let's go Lucas. Thank you. 
So for anyone who's unfamiliar with the way crew battles work, the numbers in the top are how many stocks or lives each team has. Each player gets three lives. Each team has five players they go in. So we're in our, in our second player here, full stocks. They have one player left, but he only has one stock left, so he's going to have to jump off the ledge two times before they fight. Getting in here, ready to start the second game. We have Eevee from Windsorgan at the Kazia. We have Lucas and Makeup from Helias with Incinero. Let's go, Lucas! Eevee starting off with a huge 56% combo. But Lucas striking right back with the side B, earning a nice 25%. Ooh, that's gonna take it. That Kazuya move is so strong. I don't actually remember what that one's called. Ooh. He's getting another combo, but he missed whiffs. Side B not quite making it. Ooh, just barely not connecting. He's gonna go for another grab. He loves these grabs. We get the side beat, the huge damage on board. This is potential kill percent for kill percent for Kazuya right here, because Incineroar is just that strong. We could see various things kill here. But it's just as dangerous for Incineroar here, and Eevee racks up yet another stock. He's coming in with the combo again. Oh my gosh, we have a Kazuya main. This has the ledge drop opportunity here, but if he makes it back to center stage unharmed. That rage drive to watch out for. That's going to be super strong if he lands it. And now it's going to kill if it gets hit. Ooh, the huge back air, though, coming out from Lucas. One more of anything from Incineroar should steal the stock here. Ooh, the side B. It's going to come in with a nice dash attack. Yes. Let's go. And Lucas seals out the game. Losing two stocks to Eevee, but that was a crazy Kazuya player. So it's nice to get him out of the way. Let's go, Lucas. Looks like our next game is going to be on PS2 once again. They're sending in their player Fusion X, and he's going to be playing Steve. No! We have a Kazuya into a Steve. This is this is something. This is going to be tough, but I think Lucas can clutch it out here, even though he has one stock. Lucas is absolutely great at the game. They are going to PS2. But the Steve coming in, I think we can take him out though. Ready? 
And here we're getting into the third match again Fusion X versus Lucas Omega and Sonora versus Steve. Lucas is going to have to SD twice from losing two stocks the last game. But we'll see if he can take out all three of Steve's or will he fall. Getting right into the scrapping. Steve does not want to mine. He just wants to battle it out. Something pretty uncharacteristic for Steve, but he's burned all of his iron up. He doesn't have any recovery resources. If Lucas can get him off stage here, that could be huge. And he builds himself up with the TNT. And now he's realizing that he needs to actually mine to get some resources. Mine cart coming in. So will Lucas get a stock? Oh, that's scary. Oh, the up smash is going to land, connecting with a good amount of damage. We have the side B in, though. Steve is now in disadvantage in the corner, but he makes it back to ledge. Oh, and that's going to... Oh, no! Anything will get him here. So my guy's going to successfully recover, but that... This is going to unfortunately be it versus Steve. And Winter takes down Lucas. Next up we have Sansy coming in with the Joker and we'll see what bans we're going to have. We're going to be banning FD. They're going to ban... The bands are going to be Final Destination, Hollow Bastion, and Smat. Oh, no, they changed it to Small Battlefield. Um. And it looks like we're going to be going to Smashville for this game. Sands on the Joker versus this Fusion X Steve from Windsor. We'll see how it goes. Here we are getting into the next game. Fusion X is actually not going to have to SD at all because he kept all three stocks from last game. So this is going to get right into the action here. Joker versus Steve. Right away we have the Steve getting some hits. Sans is fine. He avoids it well. Sans coming in with the combos, tacking on some huge damage, 52% already. The anvil's gonna poke him out of shield though. 
mashing out of the minecart properly, avoiding this. Oh, but the forward smash is going to come in. Nice counter to avoid this TNT. Deflecting the minecart. That could be a good strategy for later. The minecart's going to snatch him up, and the up smash is going to actually connect, but it doesn't kill yet. Ooh. These counters. Connecting the up smash, so both players are at high percent, high risk. Everyone's at kill percent here. Anyone could die. Ooh, and the minecart's gonna seal the deal. That move is very, very strong. And Steve has diamond now. Which is very good news for the Steve player. He's going to regain stage control. And the backer comes in from Sans, though, and we can take this first stock from the Steve. Let's go. That's huge. Going to have no trouble landing but and getting the punish with the forward tilt. The Steve F smashes, though, coming out. Fast move with low lag that can kill and do a lot of damage. Really good. Steve is just throwing out all these things with iron. If He's out of iron now, though, and so he's going to be in risk. He's going to need to mine or get a kill with uh, some other way, either back air or smash attack. Sans mashing out well, avoiding the up smash. The back air lands. And now Steve's with diamond again. Steve with diamond is very, very strong. We'll see if Trent can cl clutch it out. Attacking on some damage. Oh, but the, the anvil is going to seal the deal on that second stock. Oh, that Steve forward smash is just so strong. Deals so much damage. Does so much knockback. Steve with diamond just looks like a nightmare to fight. But St Sans is going to make it back fine. Oh, no. The diamond F smash that is going to seal that one. Unfortunately. All right, now we're having Orb switch in. 
Orb of Light. He's a very, very tough fighter. Hopefully he can have a triumph against Steve for us. All right, here we go. Orb of Light versus Fusion X. Good luck to both the fighters. Now, I may not be as knowledgeable when it comes to my Smash knowledge, but I will do my best. It's very tough when looking out for the minecarts. Usually it helps when they have some kind of reflector, but it's not always that easy. Nice. Got one kill against Fusion X. With Steve, you have to be nice and careful. Oh, and he took out the minecart this time. Playing very aggressively. Oh, and he nearly missed the TNT explosion. And Fusion X took out one of Orb's stocks. Yes, no. Fusion X has to. Ooh! Oh, and Orb got it. Good job. All right, now Rush is coming up playing Pichu. Here we go, Orb of Light versus Rush. I'm 
Good luck. See, we got Kalos. Personally, I'm not much of a fan of Kalos, but Orb, Orb seems to like it. Pichu's playing very spatially, waiting to bait out the moves. The one issue with Pichu is it's like Pikachu, but does more damage, but at the cost of Pichu taking damage itself. Very risk-reward system. Ooh. He hit the limit break attack. Both at very high percents right now. Either could lose the stock at any moment. Ooh, and Orb took the first stock. The offstage moments. Oh, and Resh took out Orb's stock. Those offstage moments, they are very stressful. Rush trying to stay up in Orb's face, trying to not give him much room to breathe. Oh, that was very close. Ooh, that shield is almost down. Ooh, that was a good dodge right there. Very close. Ooh, and Orb takes the next stock. It's going to be very close for Orb. Oh, and Orb survives. Very interesting fight indeed. And Orb takes the final stock. Okay. Very impressive.
All right, now we have Orb of Light versus Lord Valsador. Now Hero is pretty interesting. Anything could happen. Playing on PS2, true neutral stages. With all of Hero's different attacks through the menuing, it could be very interesting, especially with the random crits. Oh, and he's powering up with a oomph. Oh, and he hits a kaboom. Ooh, we tried to hit a thwack. Those are scary. Ooh, and he took a, he takes a stock. Nice, nice. Ooh. That was a little double hit right there. Alright. And Lord Valsador ends with two stocks. All right, now we have Ingrid Fanboy versus Lord Valsador. difficulties they picked the wrong stage by accident uh, Ingrid fanboy apologizes you know no big deal simple mistakes All right, time for the real battle. Three, two, 
good luck to both sides. Those bomb attacks are very devastating when it comes to damage. Oh, it tries to hit a thwack. Alright. Astor takes one stock. Fanboy takes one stock. Ooh, and he hit the snooze. The snooze is a very dangerous move. Valstor takes another stock. It's very close. is getting especially close. Ooh, it nearly breaks the shield. And Lord Valsador takes the last stop.
All right, we're just about to get into potentially. We're just about to get into set two now. And it looks like we're going to be playing Dr. Mario with Ingrid Fanboy against Little Mac, played by E Zane. And we're figuring out what stage we're going to go to right now. Looks like our first game of the second set is going to be on Smashville, Dr. Mario vs. Little Mac. We have Ingrid Fanboy on Dr. Mario, and we have E. Zane from Windsor on Little Mac. Ready? Here we go right in, get ready for some brawling between these characters. These characters love to scrap. versus Dr. Mario. This is a very niche matchup, not one that you will see very much. Oh no, and we have the unfortunate SD coming out with Doc on the side of Elias. Ooh. He's got KO Punch now. That's a lot to watch out for. And it is actually still going to kill. That move is so strong. It's the one thing Little Mac does have. Even if he'll die to the smallest thing. Like Ingrid Fanboy has a stock right now. Let's go. F smash taking that stock away. Absolutely annihilating it. Ooh, and the counter's coming through. That's like 30 damage. Some low Mac players just using those smash, smash attacks and the super armor on those smash attacks to their fullest advantage. It's kind of tough. He's still going to make it back as Doc. That's such a tough recovery to make. Ooh. Oh no, and that's unfortunately going to do it. The dock recovery not quite being able to make it back.
Choose your fighter. Next up, we have Lucas Omega coming in from Halias once again with the Incineroar. Hoping that he's going to take this guy out. Yeah. Here we are getting into game two of set two. The Little Mac player is going to have to SD once before the match begins because Ingrid Fanboy was able to take a stock off him. And then we'll get right into the action. Here we go. Incineroar versus Little Mac. He's come straight in with a forward smash, actually. Super on that move armor on that move is crazy. Not quite coming into effect yet, but we might see that later in this battle. Right there. Lucas gets a grab. Nice 27%. Oh, and he reads the counter. Gets 52%. That's huge. Oh, but the counter comes in and saves him from certain death with the forward smash there. KO Punch is now on deck, but the huge side B actually going to take the stock first. And Lucas is up in this game. Nice spot dodge there from Lucas, avoiding the forward smash, but that one's unfortunately going to take it out. That little Mac forward smash is such a strong move. Neutral B going to hit Mac off stage. Goes for the counter, but it whiffs, and there's no punish. That forward slash is going to connect. Ooh. But the back air connects. KO punch on board. But can he make it back? Ooh. This is scary now. Nice avoidance of the KO punch. Now Little Mac is not very strong. He's, all he's really got is these smash attacks and that side B. And I guess the counter if he counters a big hit. The KO punch is really the big hitter for Little Mac. But that forward smash is going to connect. Dealing a ton of damage. Let's see, Lucas can close this one out. And the grab, gonna get a nice back throw off this. Now, Little Max in disadvantage. He's gonna have to come back to the stage, but he just jumps right over. We've got a huge side be coming in. Unfortunately, going the wrong way, not gonna quite get the kill, but he's really low now. The dash attack gonna hit Lucas off stage once again. Recovers just fine, makes it back, but the dash attack sends him off again. One more hit from either player will seal the deal here. Question is, who's going to get it first? He's looking for the smash attack, and no, the side B's going to seal it out on that second stock. Oh no, he's got KO punch again as well. This is scary, but, but nicely, Lil Mac recovery is not going to be able to make it back. And Lil Mac is out. Our bands for this time are Kalos, Pokemon League, Hollow Bastion, and Small Battlefield. So we'll see where Windsor goes, and then we'll get into Game 3.
Here we have Fusion X with the Steve coming in versus Lucas Omega's Incineroar. Hopefully Lucas Omega can close this out here. Unfortunately, he only has one stock to go in against three stocks with Steve. But I think he can snag a couple here. And let the battling commence. And this Steve player is really aggressive, not mining at all. He's just going straight for the throat. Side B going to connect and get some nice damage. Oh, but the forward smash unfortunately just missing. Got some nice damage. Kill percent. Is that going to kill? Oh, unfortunately, just barely not making it. This recovery is going to make it back. Ooh, huge damage, huge damage on the Steve player right now. All Lucas really needs is one more strong hit, and that'll seal the deal for this stock. Ooh, the dash tech just barely not going to take it. He's going to take advantage of that air dodge. Oh, unfortunately, he makes it back. Ooh, da dash tech just missing to the spot dodge. But the neutral B is actually going to get him through the parry. So, forward throw actually going to take it here. And so we get a stock on the Steve. That's huge right now. Nice counter on the on the up smash. Unfortunately, ooh, that's going to seal the deal. Even with the good DI, that's going to take it. We're going small battlefield with Sans on the Donkey Kong instead of the Joker this time. Can you tell him it's time for the Zero? Hey, got the Donkey Kong on board. Hey. Aiming to take out the Steve player for good here. Will Sans be able to clutch it out? This is a tough matchup for sure. But if there's anyone who can do it, it's Sans. Here we are. The Steve player's got a SD once before the fight begins, but then after that, it's all rock and roll, baby. Here we go, right in. He's going to start mining right away this time. Something uncharacteristic that we've seen with the Steve so far. The minecart going to attack on a huge damage with a 39% combo. And the down smash, unfortunately, going to connect for around 
DK's now at kill percent. Steve just needs anything. Apparently the minecart will not kill. But anything at this point is going to take it out. And Sans gets something going. Oh, and he's going to just shield the side B. All he needs is one big hit here. And Steve's a goner. Ooh, just barely going to miss that too. Ooh. Ooh, the perfect spacing to avoid the up smash. Steve's just going to barely jump over the forward smash again. Now what's his landing option going to be? He doesn't have any iron left. Oh, and the side is just barely not going to break shield. He's got diamond on deck now. Will he mine it? Will he get diamond this stock or will he wait till next stock? The minecart is unfortunately going to take that one. Sans has got to seal this one out pretty quick because Steve can really tack on that damage. Oh, nice dash attack read on the rollout. The Steve flare. Oh, he just goes to plat. And the up tilt is going to take it. That's huge right now. Sans taking another stock from the Steve player. The F smash doing huge damage and knockback. But Sans striking right back. How much damage are you going to get off this? Nice shield on the downbeat. Going for another F smash. Not going to kill, which is really good. Sans take this one down. More strong smash tech is gonna do it. And we have DK on the last stock versus Steve. Sans still doing really well in this, I'm sure, horrendous matchup for DK. Look at that, 70% right off the spawn. That is tough. Oh, if that is going to take it, that forward smash from the Steve player with diamond is gonna end up taking it, unfortunately. That is such a strong move. Choose your fighter!
All right, now we have K-Cool versus Fusion X. Alright, and the fight begins. That minecart can be hard to dodge. Especially with the hitbox, it can be pretty annoying. And he hits the TNT. And K Cool hits the Kamikaze. Honestly. A true hero always top decks, in my opinion. And K-Cool loses his next stock. Ooh, and he has bounce on. That's gonna help with the minecarts. Very close. Ooh. Ooh, and K Cool is the last stock. All right, now we're switching to Orb of Light. This is going to be quite the battle, the uphill battle, trying to take down 10 stocks. That's a lot.
All right, we have Orb of Light versus Fusion X. Let's see how this goes with Fusion X only having one stock. Orb of Light already playing very aggressively. Honestly, it's hard to tell what he's doing with him flying all over the place like that. And he takes the stock. Good job. All right, we have Orb of Light versus Lucas, who plays Incineroar. You know, it seems like it's kind of a trend. If your name is Lucas, you got to play Incineroar. It's just the facts. All right, now being an Incineroar main myself, I got quite a bit of experience with understanding how it works. Incineroar, very interesting guy. Gotta love him. One of the big things you gotta watch out for is whenever he hits his, he hits his down B, his revenge, and he gets extra damage with his hit. Ooh, when he hit the revenge. Ooh, and he hit. Don't hit the Alolan Whip. Very close. Let's we'll see who takes the first stock. Orb's not giving him a lot of time to breathe. Oop, and Lucas takes the first stock. Ooh, and he wasn't able to turn around with the recovery. That sucks. It's interesting with the recovery is that you can actually angle it. So you can kind of switch up your opponent.
you know, seeing this fight right here kind of reminds me of my own battles with Orb. Oh. Very similar Dang. energy here. Ooh, Orb attempted the juggle, almost got it. Ooh, and Orb takes a stock. Lucas hits the Alolan whip. Orb trying to take him down with the mid-air combo. Abs Ooh. Let's go! Okay. The and cheese. Orb wins. And next up is Evie playing Kazuya. Why do I hear boss music? This will be an absolute clash of the ages. Kazuya versus Yoshi. Honestly, I can't wait to see how it goes. All right, here we go. Orb of Light versus Evie. All right, Orb of Light going into this with two stocks. It'll be quite the uphill battle. Definitely playing the spacing game, just like a lot of what you do in Tekken. Orb doing his best not to get hit. He's playing hard. Oh, but he got hit by the stun. Oh, and he's getting comboed. Those combo, those Kazuyu combos can be absolutely devastating. Ooh. Nearly lost a stock. It's very close. Ooh. Oh, that was really close. Ooh, and Eevee takes the first stock.
Yeah, I can't fight Kazuya. That's something I'm really bad at as a player. What is this school called? Windsor. Windsor? We do their gym. St. Louis is always good. Alright. So it's called Windsor? Congratulations to the winners, and thank you for joining us at the Helias Crew Battle. It was surely a fight, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs>